Are you interested in a career in the agricultural field? The next generation of agricultural scientists will help farmers battle tougher weeds, handle extreme weather, and grow more to meet an ever-increasing global demand for food. Why should you consider ag science? Because there's an ever-increasing demand for food worldwide every day, and not enough professionals to go around. This is a field that's looking for a crop of new talent, and it could be you. Plant breeders start with a challenge and grow it into a solution. They do this by using conventional breeding techniques and cutting edge technology to create a seed that will produce a plant that can overcome stresses and adapt to a changing environment. Dr. Rusty Smith has been breeding plants for over 10 years. The thing that I enjoy most about my job is uh, being able to create a lot of diverse new plants. I'm a soybean breeder, so I'm creating lots of diverse plants. I like to go out and make the crosses and put the, the new families that I make out in the field under conditions uh, of stress or pressure and just see how they respond and then be able to select the best plants, the plants that I like. So I, I enjoy a lot of the art of plant breeding as, as well as the science. The work of a plant breeder happens in a lab or out in the field, but the resulting solutions they create benefit the entire world. An average day for me really depends uh, on the time of year. So this is uh, June, July, this is middle of the summer, so we're out here making crosses. Taking pollen from one parent and putting it on uh, the stigmas of another parent. However, in a month or two, we'll be in the middle of harvest. So we would start out early in the morning tagging plants and preparing to harvest and then we would come out and actually cut the plants either directly with a, a combine or by hand with uh, sickles or lopping shears or something sharp. After harvest is over in the winter, you know, we go inside and we analyze our data and we decide uh, what's the best thing that we want to continue and plant the next spring. During the winter, we might attend meetings and work with colleagues on writing manuscripts or uh, things that we need to publish. Um, and so that's a fun thing about the job. It's not the same thing every day, all year long. The plant breeder studies all things plants and statistics. Common classes include plant biology, plant pathology, microbiology, plant breeding and genetics, and plant biochemistry. Job opportunities are wide open for every level of education. Uh, for undergraduates, there's probably a lot of good uh, technician positions with private industry and with universities. For a graduate degree, let's say a master's degree, a, a person might be a, an assistant plant breeder or a station manager or something like that. Uh, a person should get a PhD in plant breeding if they would like to be in charge of their own program. Those who enter the field with a farming background have an advantage. I would say that it would have been better if I'd had that background, but probably the most important thing for a plant breeder is to know the crop they're gonna work with. So. If you want to work on strawberries, you know, it's nice to know how to grow strawberries. If you want to work on soybeans, nice to know how they grow, how to grow them, how to harvest them, and so on. Plant breeding attracts those who are inventive and enjoy creating something new. That's what hooked Dr. Rusty Smith. It was for the creativity. Um, it was for the fun. I mean, uh, nobody gets into something totally uh, wanting to be so responsible and save the world, but you do it for fun and uh, along the way you might save the world. So I enjoy getting out there and deciding what I'm going to create and how I'm going to test it and how I'm going to select it and how I'm going to advance it. I like being in charge of my own breeding program. It's kind of like an artist who's painting a picture. You decide on the colors and where they're going to go and what combinations, but then on a more serious level, what you do is actually making a difference in a lot of lives of, of people around the world. You can produce food, you can create food that is better adapted to meet the, the conditions of global warming and stress that are going to happen in the future. So it, it can be very rewarding uh, as you help other people as well. If you would like to learn more, check with your local extension agent or go to msstate.edu. Someone has to be there to ensure that we feed the world. You can be that someone. Take care and keep learning.